All right, guys, so we're back out here today doing some pattern testing, getting ready for turkey season. Today I'm going to be shooting my Mossberg 835 Ultimag. Uh, this is in the 12-gauge model. Uh, I used to turkey hunt with this gun for a long time before I switched to a 20-gauge, but uh, it is equipped with an Indian Creek choke tube, 675 constriction. Uh, today I'm going to be shooting some cheap, cheap, cheap turkey loads. This is the Winchester Supreme 12-gauge three and a half inch 1300 feet per second two ounce number five shot so definitely not looking forward to shooting this load i mean this is the kind of load that'll knock your feelings right out but we're going to be shooting it in the vice today and to take human error out of the equation and we're going to be shooting it at 40 yards so this gun does have open sights, so I'm going to be aiming. I figure there's going to be a lot of drop, so I'm going to aim at the top of the turkey's head and uh, just see what kind of pattern we get out of this, if we can even get a pattern at 40 yards. But I know for a fact these shells have killed a lot of turkeys in the years past, so uh, let's just see what they do today. All right, guys, shooting these birchwood casing targets at 40 yards. It's rough. All right, guys, so here is the results of the pattern test out of the Mossberg 835 Ultimag 12 gauge with the Indian Creek choke tube. Um, as you can see, uh, I did pretty much whiff on the target. I would probably flinch when I shot because I, I pretty much knew what was coming. So <clears throat> if you look at the pattern as a whole, though, the bulk of the pattern is going to be right here. And it's probably within a 10 inch circle you're probably going to have at least 50 to 75 bbs so at 40 yards with the mossberg 835 with those winchester supreme uh, three and a half inch two ounce number five shot load uh, you could probably put your red dot on or you know compensate for your open sights i haven't shot open sights in a while i've been shooting a, a red dot so probably kind of didn't help with the situation either but if you were able to more line that up and make some adjustments you would definitely be able to kill you a bird at 40 yards with that gun and choke combination with that load uh, at 40 yards so you make your own determination whether or not you would like to hunt with this pattern me personally um, with the advancement in, in shale technology it seems like I probably would not hunt with this pattern, but obviously you could make the uh, necessary adjustments and kill you a bird at 40 yards with a super budget friendly load um, out of that gun and choke combination. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching this video and uh, just make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks for watching.